God, but I was violated in a way that got me emotional. And as men, we know when we get emotional about things, we don't like to talk about it. So I'm going to tell you why we fell out. Here's a dude that I put many plays in front of him, helped him make money, helped him do a lot of things. Okay. Right. So I get a call about 18 months, two years ago from my label, E1. E1 tells me, hey, Wack, we want to tell you something. We don't want to tell you, but we got to tell you. But Big U just left our office. In New York? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thinking maybe he went to try to get a deal or something. You know, all right. I just going to say, why would he be there? Right, yeah, hold yeah. on. They said, well, let us tell you what went on. Last week, he called and said Suge wanted him to come in for a meet. And Suge was going to be on the phone. So we thought maybe Suge was, you know, trying to work, get something done. So we set the meet. Okay. He gets in the meeting, Suge on the phone. Suge says, we want you to give your contracts that you have with Wack the Big U. Big U is the only dude that he's scared of in L.A. We, I said, what did y'all say? We told them Wack is not only our business partner, but he is our friend, and that will never happen. And I got to ask you to leave my office. So they tell me this. I wait a week. I don't say nothing. Call Big U. Hey, homie, you went to the office over there and said this nigga that I'm scared of you, nigga, whatever you ever. Fuck you. No, nah, no, nah, whack. That ain't how I went. No, nah, that's how I went. He said, Suge said that. I said, but look, nigga, you still ain't told me that happened. It's been seven days I've been sitting on it. You went to my place of business. It's obviously you and Suge had this mapped out. Whoever he think he is, he ain't no fucking body. No, he ain't got no weight in there. He in the PC yard in the penitentiary. You really fucking went to New York and walked to my office, a nigga who didn't put his life on the line, who didn't looked out for you, who didn't helped you maintain and sustain and tried to do that. So let me ask you something, Big. You would have they had went for it then. Well, you'd have told me then. I said it from that hey. day forward, nigga. We ain't got nothing to holler about. You stay on your side. I'm gonna stay on mine, nigga. Anything outside of that is gonna be what it's gonna be. That's why I don't fuck with Big U. Wow. This is why I'm gonna be real high side. I'm gonna be real high side. I'm glad you. I'm glad you released it because I wouldn't have never said it. Wow. That's great. He tried to do the OG mob take hey, Can I ask you something? What? There it go, man. my nigga. And, and, what? and if he, I bring my business execs on this platform. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. When, hey, what? Can I ask you a question? This when is doggy ha- dog world out yeah. here. And when when that happened, was like, cause I was recently watching that the the shit y'all did with Nick Cannon. What, what no, that shit that, was that, that shit was already happened. happened. It happened after that. Had that that he had been had that shit. He just put it out when he put it out. You know what I'm saying? So it had happened after all that. That's why you know, end of the day. I've been, so there wasn't no tension there, and y'all. Nah, was I mean what I said about I when I told our son, dude, the biggest snake in the world. That's what I was talking about, my nigga. Hold on, bro. Nigga, I, nigga, what to hold up, nigga? For real? The fuck? After the game tours with Nipsey and all that. Man, nigga, man.